Welcome to Electron Online. In the last video we used a differentiation to find the power series of a particular function. In this video we're going to use integration to find the power series of this function, f of x equals the natural log of 1 plus x. Since we know that the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of 1 plus x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x times the derivative of the denominator which is 1, we can then say that the integral of 1 over 1 plus x times dx is equal to that original function again, the natural log of, and we, we can use absolute value signs, probably cleaner, 1 plus x plus a constant of integration. All right, which means that if we find the power series of 1 over 1 plus x, and we know what that is, well, kind of, because we know what it is for 1 minus x, so let's go ahead and think about that. Let's find the power series of 1 over 1 minus x. That is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus and so forth, which means that the power series of 1 over 1 plus x 1 over 1 plus x can be written as 1 over 1 minus a minus x. Again, we want to make it look like this format right here, which is therefore equal to 1 plus a minus x plus a minus x squared plus a minus x cubed plus a minus x to the fourth power plus and so forth, which means that this can be written as 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x to the fourth minus and so forth. All right, so now what we've done is we found the power series of 1 over 1 plus x. Now what we need to do is integrate that power series to get the power series of the natural log of 1 plus x. So let's do that. f of x, which is equal to the natural log of 1 plus x is equal to the integral of 1 over 1 plus x dx, which is equal to the integral of 1 over 1 minus 1, or 1 minus a minus x times dx. That's the same thing, of course, which means that this is equal to the integral of 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x to the fourth plus, oh, that would be a minus the next term, minus, so forth, the whole thing times dx. Now, of course, you say, well, what about that constant of integration? Don't, don't I need to worry about that? Well, that constant of integration can be any value, and we're probably going to end up with a constant here anyway, so we can just ignore it for now. And so then next we have f of x is equal to, when we integrate, we have the integral of 1 is x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the 4th over 4 plus x to the 5th over 5 minus and so forth. And this then becomes the power series of our original function. Of course, the constant of integration can be any value, and unless we've given some initial conditions, we cannot figure out what that value is. So here we have it, the power series of our original function, f of x equals the natural log of 1 plus x. And that's how it's done.